told spelling is not an examinable subject, as in on, on the WIAC 9 subjects for BEC, spelling is not one, and therefore you cannot then, you know, be seen, or it cannot be seen as a serious subject. And so we have at times felt very lonely on this journey where we have spoken ourselves hoarse, trying to convince our uh, partners, not our existing partners, but partners in education, in the corporate world, that this is a program that impacts in, on the children's lives way more than what happens in the classroom. I've had parents approach me to say, you teach spelling and you teach um, English, so I need you to find me teachers who can teach my children you know, the mother tongue. And I say, language is best taught spoken. I want to make a, um, an appeal to parents. It's parents in particular. Um, the policy is there, GES's policy is there. Let's leave them to figure out how they can implement it. USAID is supporting with, what, with, learn, with the learning program. But as parents, if we're not speaking the language with, the, with our own children, we're turning them into what I call monolinguals. All they do is speak a form of English, and that's it. So that even when they actually meet an English person, there's a problem in communication. This year, Spelling Bee, in spite of the challenges we've had, will move on. And this is because of the good intention Ghanaians who have supported us, including our sponsors. We're excited about this year's competition. This year's competition is not, it's not, even though it's not impacting as many children as we would have wanted, last year we reached about a thousand children. This year, we're about 600, which is not bad. And all of them have received training. Um, and the training is led by my two, my two members and a, and a team of dedicated volunteer, teacher volunteers. <laughs>